Hi, this is Neil Morrison. You're watching and listening to Moro.com, my favorite Prague internet radio station. Uh, well, we're doing the entire one album, which has never been done before. And we're doing Testimony One on consecutive nights, a Friday and Saturday night. So it's like a weekend event. Um, I thought it'd be cool to, you know, try doing that, try to have, do a whole weekend and with uh, different events during the day and, uh, you know, see if people would come to Nashville, to my hometown, to hear me uh, do some of these pieces of music, some of these albums in their entirety, uh, in the place where they were written and, and experienced. And, uh, so that's what, that's what it's about. It's going to be a great, uh, festival of music for a weekend. And, and, uh, I think it's going to be a great blessing. Well, actually, to be honest, I haven't started listening to them yet. I've been, I'm on the Flying Colors tour right now. And then I've also got a new Neil Morse band album that we started. So I've been working on the lyrics for that and the Flying Colors stuff. But as soon as I get home, I'm going to start practicing for Morse Fest. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll let you know how difficult it was after we do it. I wanted to name it something kind of simple to give people the impression the feeling that it was kind of simpler songs and not prog epics, you know. So I thought songs from something, you know, would, would be a good way to give people that feeling. And, uh, yeah, very simply, it's because I wrote them uh, in November of 2013, for the most part. Well, I listen to a lot of uh, regular music, normal music. You know, for example, one of the things I'm really enjoying listening to right now is uh, John Mayer's acoustic albums, um, Paradise Valley and uh, Born and Raised. I'm really enjoying those albums. So I, I like the... And when it's time for me to like just chill out with my family or something, a lot of times I'll put on a singer-songwriter album, you know, a James Taylor album or, you know, those kinds of things, Cat Stevens. Uh, and so... I thought, you know, I'd like to make an album like that someday, you know? And uh, Songs for November is that album. I'm gonna take some time off, get those extra things. Yeah, well, I did them with this young drummer, Gabe Klein, who was 18 years old at the time of the recording. Um, I met him through a, a mutual friend, Terry Christian, who's an engineer in Nashville, and he suggested using Gabe as an engineer and, and drummer. And, uh, and so that's what we did. You know, I, I thought, well, I'll try it out. We try, I tried him on like one song to see, and it felt really good. So I was like, yeah, let's go ahead. And we recorded, um, 18 songs, I think. And then we picked the best 11 or, well, we picked 11. I don't know if they're the best. <laughs> it's hard to say, but, uh, yeah, that was kind of the approach. I would just like play him the song, you know, either on acoustic guitar or on piano. And we just kind of uh, recorded at first just piano, drums, and click track. And then I, w I went in and added, uh, you know, everything else, most of the other stuff. I got some help, you know. There's different musicians I got to help out. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I, I, I wanted to keep it simple, and I think we did, we did that. Daddy's daughter, my precious little girl. Well, I actually wrote it several weeks earlier. I think uh, we had a day off in Switzerland. And uh, I started working on it then. I performed it in Paris, because that was the night that she was there. But I had written it earlier, and I wasn't sure if I... Because she said something to me like, Dad, I know you. If I'm gonna be there on my I'm gonna be at one of your concerts on on my 16th birthday. Don't make a big deal out of it. Don't embarrass me, you know. So I was talking to my wife, going, you know, should I play it? Or am I gonna embarrass her? You know, I also didn't know how the band was gonna feel about it. Anyway, obviously, I wound up talking to the band, and they were they were like, oh yeah, you should totally do it. And 
I wound up doing it. I think she appre- she appreciated it, you know. But uh, yeah, I wrote it a couple weeks earlier, and it was funny because I was going for a long walk, and while I was writing it, I was just crying. I was just, I was just, you know, thinking about her and our, you know, our whole. But I think about her when she was little and and everything. And people might have thought I was kind of weird because I was just walking around that little town. Just crying like a baby. <laughs> I was trying, you know. I, it was. It took me a while to try to think of the right lyrics. You know, it's like, it's hard to say, what's in your heart in words, that really, express what you want to. And so I, I actually, it took me quite a while to write that song. We shine while this moment slips away from us. Well, let's see. It's the whole. It's kaleidoscope. Get it. Get it? Kaleidoscope. Um, yeah, it's the whole Kaleidoscope album live, and as well as, what else did we do? We did My New World, and The Whirlwind Medley, and uh, We All Need Some Light, and um, what else did we do? We did like a Stranger in Your Soul medley of some kind. Uh, I should remember. <laughs> But yeah, it's got all the all kinds of great stuff, and it, and it's really long. It's you know it's very complete, and there's a whole tour documentary, plus there's uh, some footage of us in the tour documentary of us like rehearsing on the cruise ship on the cruise, the uh, PN14 cruise, and what else is on there? And us uh, also uh, performing with uh, Tice Van Leer from uh, Focus in. Uh, in Tilburg at the 013, doing songs with him. And so there's all kinds of bonus footage, and uh, the audio discs are from Tilburg, and the DVD and Blu ray are from Cologne. And it's a wonderful, huge, wonderful package. You're, you're going to love it. You got to love it. Uh, the different the difference was several differences making this one. Uh, first, we made this one in two pieces. We didn't do it all at once, so we got together for one session at my place, and then we got together months later for another session at Mike's place. And uh, we didn't have Peter Collins producing, so we produced it ourselves. And uh, we know each other better, you know. I think, and it's just the season of time for us to make this record. I think, you know. And I'm very happy with it. Oh, wow. I think they're really different to me. Um, Well, you know, totally different players, except, you know, for Mike and me. So the bass playing, the guitar playing, and the singing are completely different, you know. The composition is totally different. You know, Flying Colors has its whole own thing. You know, and the Casey factor is, Casey singing it makes it makes it really I think, takes it to a whole other place. You know, even um, on Flying Colors more proggy things, it's still. Um, you know, Transatlantic's the full on prog thing. You know, Flying Colors is more. I mean, the vision of Flying Colors all all along was to have something that was. A little bit proggy, but also a little bit poppy, a little bit more accessible, you know. I noticed there was a lot more women in the audience, you know. There, you know, it's just, it's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, uh, just easy, e- a little easier for the average listener to to get. And, uh, but it's great. It's still got all kinds of musicality and and uh, it's wonderful. All the, the players are all amazing, and Casey's amazing, and I really enjoy the music. So, who could ask for anything more? Yeah, well, you know, I'm working on the lyrics for that stuff right now, and we're going to try and finish it uh, fairly soon and get it out fairly soon in the coming year. You know, it's the plan to to get it out there and. You know, maybe uh, maybe do a tour too. So, yeah. Is it an we're, planning, we're hoping to do that. The album? Mm-hmm. Uh, not sure yet. Not sure yet. But uh, it's it's sounding really good too. 